He's just a big bag of wind. Ah, oh, come on. Here, I'll start the concert right here. The great Puccini. What a cat. <laughs> Does this Pacini think he is anyway? I'm the singing star in this neighborhood. Except when you vocalize, everybody cries. Gee, Heathcliff, I don't think you sing so bad. Yeah, Heathcliff, you don't sing bad. You just don't sing good. <laughs> hey, 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 watch what you say. Heathcliff sings good far, far away. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, left this off. <laughs> 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 A vision of a beauty, a rose among a thorns. A beautiful feline deserves a beautiful flower. A flower from Puccini? I'm in heaven. Tonight, Westminster will thrill to my voice. Oh, yes, it will be thrilling. I will depart now. Romance awaits. Come with me, my little flower. Let the great Puccini show you the most magnificent afternoon of your life. Feisty steals my fans. Now he's got my girl. I wouldn't have let him done that to me, Heathcliff. Yeah, he wouldn't have done that to my pal Hector. Duh, what'd he do, Hector? Never mind, you big blazoo. So what are you gonna do now, big man? Not me, you lame brains. We! Whoa! <laughs> Hey guys, what kind of bait do you use when you're fishing for turkey? <laughs> hey, Heathcliff, I think you got him. Yeah! Oh! Oh! Yeah! Stop! <coughs> <coughs> Time for plan B. I bet he gets a bang out of this. 
Come, come, my dear. You must try the halibut. It's awful dark in there. Dark? Of course it's dark. It's the Tunnel of Love. Well, uh, you see, uh, I'm sort of scared of the dark. No problem, Mungo. Just close your eyes. Oh, gee, uh, I never thought of that. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Uh, thanks, Heathcliff. I hear him coming. Get ready. They're getting closer. When I holler, jump, jump. Okay, here they come. Get ready. They're almost here. Get set. Any minute. Jump! I guess they must be in the next boat. <laughs> Plan C. Ciao, my lovely. I must prepare for my performance this evening. See you at the concert, my sweet rose petal. Don't worry, Heathcliff. We'll take care of that big bag of wind for you. No way, boys. I'll take care of Casanova myself. <laughs> Gee, Mr. Pacini, if you gain any more weight, we'll have to get a larger corset. <laughs> Be quiet and keep it tugging. You take care of him, did you, Heathcliff? Nah, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Skin a cat? <laughs> meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. 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 There's just no accounting for taste. Why are you redecorating your place? Or should I say, why are we redecorating your place? Cleo thinks the place needs fixing up. Yeah, how come you never fixed the place up when we told you what a dump it was? Think about it, genius. 
Okay. Now be careful with that stuff. It's valuable merchandise. Hello there, gorgeous. Riff Raff, I have to talk to you right now. Sure thing, Cleo. Mungo, get the door. Mungo, get the door. Uh, okay. Now I'm lying in the dirt and think my body's hurt. Lose the pipe, Mungo. Okay, Riff Raff. Ah! Lots of things I do for fun, but getting squashed by pipes ain't fun. What's up, Cleo? I'm gonna be locked up. What? You weren't followed, were you? Followed by whom? The cops. I'm not being locked up by the cops. I'm being locked up by my owner. What are you talking about? My owner is going out of town for a couple of days and I'm being boarded at Kitty Cat Kennels. Not to worry, Cleo. I've got a plan. Right after your owner drops you off at the kennels, the boys and me will break you out. Are you sure? Trust me. <laughs> On the count of three, we break it down. One, two, three. Oh. Oh. Way to go, guys. One more time ought to do it. Uh-oh, someone's coming. Quick, in the bushes. I've got an idea. Hector, grab the door. Get me out of here. Pull him out. Okay, you riffraff. Hey, somebody's coming. Now, when he comes out, Mungo, you grab the door. Now, Mungo, grab it. Good job, Mungo. You hold the door until we get back. I don't see her out here. She must be in her room. We are almost there. Now, remember, be quiet. Be quiet. Yeah, like me. All right, we gotta find Cleo. Just act like you belong here. Ain't no way in this kind of place you'll find a cat with this kind of face. Cleo, Cleo, you in there? Not Cleo. I know he was here, but he disappeared. Duh. I'm so happy you finally came to get me. Why, well, I've always depended on the kindness of strangers. <coughs> Turkeys. We gotta find Cleo and get her out of this place. Yeah, a cat's gotta be free on the street, not locked up like some kind of creep. Huh? Hmm. Hector, check in there. Whoa! Cleo! I thought you'd never get here. Come on, let's get going. Oh, boy! Here they come! Hurry up, you guys! Mongo! The door! We're trapped! Well, congratulations. You're the first cats to leave themselves at a kennel. I think I'll go back to my room. We're all going back to your room. Don't worry, I'll get us out of here. How are you gonna do that? You are gonna dig a tunnel. All you have to do is dig from here to here, and we'll be out. Mungo, you start digging. Wordsworth, you hold the dirt. And Hector, you pile it in the corner. What are you gonna be doing while we're digging? I'll be busy.
Mike will be out any minute, Cleo. We're out! We're out! <laughs> Gee, Riff Raff, how'd you get out here? I'm not out, you're in. You guys dug from one end of the room to the other. Should have got a mole to dig this hole. It looks like I'm gonna have to do this myself. Wordsworth, you hold the map. I should be home taking a nap, not standing in the dirt, holding a map. That should do it. Just break that dirt above your head, Mungo, and we're out. Oh boy, we're out. I told you I'd get us out. I have my doubts about being out. Cover us, <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> Just my luck, I think I'm stuck. I My head is so full of pain. I hope I didn't break my brain. I saw that. You dogs are pitiful. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Now go teach those cats a lesson. Now go get them. Yeah. We'll show them. Here they come. Let's get out of here. Now we're really trapped. Relax, I'll think of a way out. It's your thinking that got us into this mess. And I suppose you could have done better. Sure I could have. Well, here's your chance. Let's see what you can do. Okay. Uh, uh, first we should... Uh, uh, Mungo, you should throw something at those dogs to stop them. Yeah, like what, Hector? I don't care. Do anything. Anything, Hector? Just do it, Mungo. Okay, Hector. Not me. Nice throw, Mungo. Riding like this, I'll never fall unless we hit a great big. All those dogs against Mungo. Shouldn't we help? No, there's nothing we can do about it. Poor doggies. <laughs> Mongo, you can stop that. I can. You guys make me sick. Now that that's over with, let's get out of here. I'll have this door open in just a minute. Fine. I'll wait for you on the other side. I told you I'd get you out of here. Yeah, my hero. What do you think of my new fish, Heathcliff? His name's Chomper. Lovable, ain't he? I got him as a friend for Angel. <laughs> Iggy's trying to make Angel happy by giving him a pal. But with friends like Chomper, who needs enemies? Before you put different kinds of fish together, check with a pet shop to make sure they get along. Happy fishing!
Let's go.